Hello and welcome to this video. So for this video, I'm going to talk about the use of linearization to approximate the square roots of numbers that are not perfect squares. Example, linearize f of x is equal to square root of x to find the square root of numbers that are not perfect squares. In particular, find the best approximation for the square root of the number 7. Solution. The perfect squares that can be used for approximating 7 are 1, 4, 9, and 16. Why? It's because they are the closest perfect squares to 7. Now we're going to talk about the graph of the square root of x. So this curve here, the function of this curve is square root of x. PS will stand for perfect square. So what we need to find is what is the square root of 7. To find the square root of 7, we need to use the two most closest perfect squares to 7. First, we will use 9, and this green line will help us find the square root of 9. So, the square root of 9 is 3. The formula we're going to use is L of x is equal to f of a plus f prime of a multiplied by x minus a. L of x is equal to square root of the perfect square plus 1 over 2 square root of the perfect square multiplied by x minus the perfect square. So now we'll substitute 9. So L of x equals to square root of 9 plus 1 over 2 square root of 9 multiplied by x minus 9. L of x is equal to 3 plus 1 over 6 multiplied by x minus 9. So now we'll substitute 7 instead of x. So L of 7 is equal to 3 plus 1 over 6 multiplied by 7 minus 9. So L of 7 is equal to 2, 2 over 3 which is estimated to be 2.667. So now, we will use 4, because as we said before, 4 and 9 are the two closest perfect squares to 7. So the blue line will help us find the square root of 4, so as we go up, the square root of 4 is 2. So, L of x is equal to square root of 4 plus 1 over 2 square root of 4 multiplied by x minus 4, L of x is equal to 2 plus 1 over 4 multiplied by x minus 4. L of 7 is equal to 2 plus 1 over 4, 7 minus 4. L of 7 is equal to 2, 3 over 4, which is estimated to be 2.750. So if we use the calculator, square root of 7 is equal to 2.646. And what we used here is we used perfect squares to find the square root of 7. So now we're going to have to choose which number we found using the perfect square is closest to the square root of 7 using the calculator. So 2.6, 2.7, and this is 2.6. So the closest to square root of 7 is when we use the perfect square 9. Also, as you can see on the graph, 9 is closer to 7 than 4. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you understood it and I hope you liked it. I just want to shout out to my best friend, Ariel Princess. Her videos are very fascinating. I hope you enjoy our videos and her videos. Thank you very much.